welcome to uh, my video. I'm Sticky Side Down, or Matt, and um, I'm going to be doing a little review for you guys on a couple of items that I've been using whilst out trail riding for about a year now. And I just want to give them a little review, rate them, maybe recommend them to you, and uh, see what you think. So, welcome to beautiful Cornwall. This is my little corner of England. I'm very lucky to live here and very happy to bring you along with me. So, from my little bag of tricks, I'm going to bring out this lovely little number to start with. Now, I use several different jackets when I'm riding the bike. I've got a, a Halverson Safety, for example, which is fantastic on the road. I love to use it in the winter, in the summer, uh, with the different interchangeable covers. Very nice jacket, very heavy. And if I was trail riding, one, I don't want that amount of weight. It's, um, it's far too heavy and it's not breathable enough for what I need when I'm trail riding. I ride a KTM 990, so, and I'm not that good. So I'm quite often picking it up or you know, manhandling it between ruts or something like that. And you've worked up a sweat pretty quickly doing something like that. The second point is that jacket cost me about 600 pounds, which is $800 uh, US. So, I don't really want to be taking an 800 pound, uh, sorry, 800 dollar jacket with me trail riding. That wouldn't make a lot of sense. So what we need is a cheap, lightweight, breathable alternative for our trail riding. Now, obviously, with your full-on bike jacket, you're going to have armour in the shoulders and elbows, and maybe in the back as well. And what we're looking at here doesn't have any of this, so. Bear that in mind, I'm assuming that you're going to be wearing a waterproof over jacket over something like a pressure suit or whatever body armour that you have. Uh, personally, I really like the, the force field stuff. So this is just an over jacket. Now, some of the manufacturers sell something along those lines, Climb, for example. But certainly here in the UK, Climb jacket is expensive. So what you'll see a lot of the trail riders doing is using army surplus uh, equipment, waterproof uh, gore jackets. Now, if you've seen those guys wearing them, uh, the chances are it's actually a different camouflage pattern to this. The, they'll be using an old Geltec style jacket, which was breathable, it was strong, quite heavyweight, and the camouflage pattern that came in was what they call DPM, Disruptive Pattern Material. DPM is now being phased out, so on one hand, get on eBay now, you can probably grab yourself some bargains in the, the DPM. issue stuff that's going out to our armed forces is what they call the MTP pattern, which is this multi-terrain pattern. Because the DPM isn't actually suitable for a lot of the environments that our boys and girls are operating in these days. So this is what they've come out with. Now I'm just going to uh, show you some of the details on the jacket. I don't know how well this is going to come out in the video, but you can see in terms of pack size, it's sort of a standard standard raincoat, if you like. And if I come up closer to you now, what you'll see, hopefully, is the breathable material and that all of the seams are fully taped, which is a fantastic place to start. So, try not to fall off here, it's about a 30 foot drop there. So. This is the, the jacket. Now, just see if there's any other details on the label we need to know about. Any care instructions? There you go. Tumble dry on a lower heat setting. Remove water from the pockets before you do that. Cool iron, do not bleach. Wash at 40 degrees. So, it's easy to care for as well, which is it's good. Now, I know for a fact that the breathability of these jackets is on a par with some of the proprietary brand um, breathable fabrics. I'm sure you get what I'm alluding to. So, okay, you've seen the inside of the jacket, you've seen the tape seams. It's got somewhere, a little hook that you can hang it up by, which is always a bonus. And we'll just have a little move on to the jacket itself. Now, it's not really waterproof jacket weather. It's about 20 degrees here at the moment, but that's Celsius, by the way. Um, but we will suffer for you guys today. Um, so here we are. 
the jacket is a standard zip fastener here and you can see it's of a length that it just fits down sort of below your buttocks and to the top of your, your thighs so just looking through the jacket now standard zip closure high collar this I do like when you're using a dirt bike or any bike for that matter uh, this actually sits right up in the collar so there's no no weather getting in there okay and then in terms of the closure okay we have a flap here okay which folds over when we close the second flap so velcro all the way down there like so that creates the waterproof channel so any water that gets in past that velcro is only going to hit that channel and run down out the bottom of the jacket so fairly standard stuff now undo the zipper slightly because it is a very high one now in here you notice there's a second zip nothing behind it the idea of that obviously is you can reach into an inner jacket this was made to work with you know the, the military issue jackets that would be out there but could be useful to you could be superfluous so okay there we go Let's just undo that one now in terms of other features of the jacket pockets not tons of pockets two big chest pockets though uh, you could get a fair amount of stuff in there you could certainly get a camera some dry gloves a little bit of food not quite the size of an inner tube but far off so we've got that cuffs velcro closure fully adjustable okay from small to enormous which means you know you can wear it over your winter gloves you can wear it under them you can wear it over your motocross gloves as is your preference so that's in terms of the exterior features of the jacket mostly it we have a rank slide not really relevant to us but hey it's on the jacket so I'll mention it and then in terms of the the cut of the jacket. Stand back a bit first. Hopefully, I'm still in shot. You can see that we actually have an elasticated draw cord at the hem, so you can pull it in tight like that. It's good if you're on the bike. It means that it's not going to ride up. Uh, you're not going to get drafts on the back, and you're not going to get any moisture either. So, this is the standard issue MTP camouflage waterproof breathable jacket. Now, why would you choose one of these? The colour is not the, uh, the most fetching, really. And certainly there are some parts of the world where wearing British military camouflage equipment is less than ideal. However, for domestic trail riding, it's fine. And the reason that I would take one of these over a climb is you'll get these on eBay for about 20 uh, UK pounds, about 30 US dollars. Um, very lightweight, very nice bit of kit. Don't know what that orange piece of paper is for. Not a part of the jacket, so we don't need to worry about that. And there we go. Compresses relatively well. Certainly doesn't take up too much room in the bottom of my creaker there. So that is, as I say, the standard British Army. They say Gore-Tex. It's a proprietary, uh, breathable fabric. I don't see a Gore-Tex label on there anyway. If you're buying surplus, you're not going to be able to go back on the Gore-Tex guarantee anyway. I know that fabric works. And uh, yeah, cracking bit of kit. So for £20, you can't really go wrong. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, feel free to leave a comment at the bottom. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Also look us up on Facebook. We are Operation Honey Badger. Uh, we're a motorcycle interest group. And I'll be adding a few more reviews and uh, sort of sharing biking news and things with people as and when I come across it just for the good of the sport really so hope you enjoyed that thank you very much and go check out the review of the lightweight breathable uh, waterproof over jacket that i will be doing next so thank you very much goodbye